Okay, so I'm Toby Boule. I'm Logan Boule's father. And today for Green Shirt Day at Churchill is a pretty special event. We're having Tyler Smith come. Tyler played with, uh, was Logan's teammate and friend. And uh, Logan was Tyler's friend. And they played in Humble together. And they're both in the crash. And uh, Tyler's awesome. Appreciate you, Toby. Yeah. Um, yeah, my name is Tyler Smith. And it's a pleasure to be here, obviously, for, for Green Shirt Day and, you know, creating more awareness for organ donation. But I think, you know, creating more awareness for connection. And I was pretty fortunate to have a special connection with, with Bulls and uh, to be able to talk about that and talk about, I guess, you know, mental health as a whole and, you know, well-being as a, as a young kid and our youth, I think, you know, generating that awareness is important. So um, just a immense amount of gratitude for being here, with, especially with Toby. So. Uh, Green Shirt Day is becoming a very large day across Canada and we are so appreciative that our school district, get, the schools get behind Green Shirt Day. They buy shirts every year, they have celebrations, they have assemblies. And it's important that, you know, it's history in a way because it's been six years since Logan passed and a lot of these kids have no idea who Logan is. But we will see shirts in the gym today that are the older style, green shirt day shirts from their family. And <laughs> It's kind of cool that way. So, and um, yeah, it just, it's just, my wife still teaches school, so she retires. So at her school will have assembly next week or the week after next. And it's just, it's just nice to know that people are there for us and thinking of our family and particularly thinking about Logan and thinking about becoming organ donors, registering. Yeah, I think just touching on obviously the importance of, you know, Green Shirt Day and creating this awareness and, you know, continuing this um, this meaningful tradition and making sure that, you know, these kids are thinking about the organ donation aspect of, you know, their life. And But then also, you know, to throw a little balance into how that, you know, affects your mental health as well and how important it is to take care of yourself and, you know, taking it one step at a time. It's been it's been a challenging couple of years for our youth and I think it continues to be difficult in a lot of aspects and to be able to you know generate a more of a community like feel with you know the green shirt um, green shirts all around and and Logan Logan's legacy I think that's uh, you know just I think being able to create that community is the most important thing where these kids feel as though they're not alone and you know they're allowed to take care of themselves and they're allowed to take those steps so um, so obviously, like like Toby said, I uh, had the pleasure of playing with the 2017-2018 Humble Broncos, and um, obviously, ever since that, that that day, it's been a a learning curve, and you know, learned a lot and a lot of ups and downs along the way. And truly, uh, public speaking is never something I anticipated doing, but I know that unfortunately, people are struggling, and um, I just like to you know, hopefully, use my story to help propel propel people to you know have those meaningful conversations or or have those meaningful connections in their life and um, recently somehow won the Amazing Race Canada with my lovely fiance Kat even though she uh, she probably did most of the work um, but it's been yeah it's been obviously a unique six years and there's been a lot of uh, a lot of ups and a lot of downs so I think uh, there's a lot of power in a story and hopefully uh, our stories together can really help you know propel these kids to, to take those steps for themselves so tires as he's mentioned, he's got such a unique story, and it's important that kids today hear what he has to say. It's not so much kids today. I talked to a couple of Churchill student teachers, and they said they're very excited that Tyler's coming because they feel their kids need this message now. And so Tyler coming and also going to Logan's Middle School, G.S. Lakey, it makes it a big deal for those kids. And um, the Boulay Logan story from us is not always sad. We're trying to, you know, there's lots to talk about, but lo lo Tyler bring a unique blend of that to his story of being not alone, mental health awareness, and it's going to be a really good day.